My name is Rashi Williams. I am now playing for John Legend, a very well-known artist. Played for Eric Robeson, sing Guapale, did some stuff for a lot of other artists. Um, endorsed by Mayplex Drums, Evans Drumheads, Pisces Symbols, Big First Drum Sticks, all great companies. Uh, yeah, man, this is my setup. This is the John Legend tour setup for now until we add something else or until something in the music calls for another piece. Um, yeah, I go around everything. Starting from the far left, we have electronic drum module, um, the TD20, excellent, comes packed with sounds. Typically, everything that's in there you'll use in some form or fashion. Um, so, that's the preset board that has all the stuff, all the 808 snares, the 808 kicks, the 909 snares, 909 kicks, everything that we'll need for stuff like that. We come up here, we got the another rolling piece, the rolling SPDS. This is for all the specific stuff that is like drum sounds from the album. Um, it's sampled, so we're able to sample the exact sounds into the SPDS and, you know, use it for anything, whether it be just one kick that we need just for one song, whether it be a loop that we need, whatever it is, we can sample it straight from there and it'll be the exact same as the album. Um, under the SPDS, we have a 14 by 5.5 Mapex um, Saturn Series snare. It's tuned low. Um, it's a lot of stuff that we might do um, where if the style of the song is a little bit um, less modern, older stuff, has a lot of deep snares in it. I love the deep snare. A lot of the accents that come off of it really allow the music to breathe a little bit more. It gives your ears a rest from the normal snare, allows you to feel something different, because of course, every sound gives you a different feeling. Um, up here, we have Roland V-Drum, um, probably to me, the greatest electronic drums were made when they came out with the mesh heads on them because they feel real. So um, we have the Roland V drum. My 808 snare actually is triggered from the TD20 to here um, for a lot of, um, we do a song where, especially it's called um, Still Number One, where I use that at, you know what I mean? Watch the clips and see it. Um, yeah, so that's where the 808 snare is. I'm gonna take, skip a little bit, come down here, I don't know if you can get it. Um, Kind of my snare, not the rolling piece. As you can see, rolling probably makes the greatest. No, they do. I don't think probably. Well, yeah, they do. I don't know any other company that would. Um, rolling makes the best percussion triggers, percussion pads, V drums, electronics, anything that has to do with electronic drum gear. Rolling makes the best stuff. So um, on this, we have the rolling trigger on my snare, which also is triggered from the TD20, um, which is. Anytime a clap or a rim shot sound, I can play the snare and that at the same time. It just not only gives it a more body, body up sound, makes it bigger, once again, makes it more close to what the album version of everything is, because we can trigger everything. You know what I mean? If there's a snare sound, but I want to play a clap in the snare, I can do it all with the trigger in the TD20. Um, talking about the drums, Mapex. Great drums. Uh, anybody that's ever met me knows I read Mapex on the day I die because they're great drums. Um, my drums are the Saturn series. Um, right now I'm playing, um, my times are 8, 10, I'm sorry, I'm wow, 10, 12, 14, and 16 times. Um, everything, pretty much, I like the stuff that's attached to the original stuff. The times are attached to the bass drum, the floor times sit with legs on the floor. I don't do the hanging things too often, not really comfortable for me. Um, my snare is a maple, Black Panther, um, 6 by 13, um, 6 inches deep, 13 inches around. Um, like I said, Black Panther, another product of Mapex drums, they make the greatest snares, the most durable snares. It's not too heavy, you know, heavy stuff you want to carry it around, all that. They're perfect for shows like this because they can kind of give you that mid-range sound that you're looking for. Instead of having just a pitchy, kind of gives you that mid-range and still you got that crack on it so that it cuts through everything. So um, yeah, that's the drums. Like I said, the Saturn Series drums, um, if you ever get a chance to check them out, they're ma maple and walnut are the shells, so it kind of gives the times more full sound. Um, my heads are all Evans, of course. Um, on my deep snare, I'm using the power. Um, reverse tenor dot joint is crazy. Like if you ever get a chance to check it out, check out the power center reverse dot snare head coated. Um, on my primary snare, I'm using a G2 coated. All my times are on um, EC2s, clear EC2s, two ply heads, so it gives you that more full sound. 
my kick is the EMAT, of course. Everybody knows about the EMAT. You need to really you go into it. It's a great kick head. Um, yeah, so that's the drum aspect. Symbols. A lot of stuff going on with symbols. Everybody wants to talk about all these companies. I'm Keisty. Probably won't ever go anywhere else. I don't have any need to go anywhere else. Starting from the far left, um, pretty much Keisty has a lot of different lines. Their symbols are more known to be bright, but if you pick the right stuff and really check out their full line of symbols, you'll find the warmth that you're looking for and you'll still find the cut that you're looking for. So starting on the far left is a 16 inch signature reflector. Really bright sound, it cuts. Like that's the main thing about the signature reflector series, they cut through anything. No matter who's playing in the band, how deep the bottom is, you don't got no high range speakers, you only got subs, you'll still hear the symbols. Point blank, and they're great in studio as well. Come over, um, I have a 10 inch splash, which is also a signature reflector. So these, the 16 and the 10 are my two signature reflector joints for the kit. Um, pretty much, just like every other reflector symbol, it cuts, the splash cuts really well. A lot of cats, including myself, we do a lot of splash work with the hot header, with the snare, accent certain things, it really works out well for that. My high hats um, are just a signature. Um, another line of Peisty, uh 13 inch heavy hats. They're crisp. Um, it's funny, he was listening back to a recording earlier, a rehearsal. The hi hats are the crispiest hi hats I've ever played. And I play a lot of different stuff, of course. Um, we go to Crash Wise. Um, probably my favorite Crash on my kit right now, um, which is the traditional 17 inch thin Crash. It's bright, it cuts, and it still is a great wash. If you need to do like swells and things of that nature, Definitely, I'm right here for all of that. Um, and if you really notice, it's really my setup is more or less where the symbols that have the tone that goes across more songs, I use, you know, closer to me opposed to having a 16 that's a little more bright. Won't use it as much. I keep that to my far left, keep my 17 right in front of me when I splash. Come over here, 21 inch ride, the 20 series ride. It has like a really cool, it's not too bright. But it's still, you can feel the, I want to say the pitchiness of it. It has that ring. And it'll sit there for a while and it'll give you that ambiance too. Because symbols nowadays don't give any ambiance depending on what symbols you're playing. But I feel like ambiance is important. Um, yep, and that's the ride, 21 inches. If you come up, I have the 18 inch, also the 20 series, 18 inch crash, which is really more of a warm sound. It's not as bright as the rest. Um, it's really just like that ultimate, has a really big sound, just anything that has to be, we go into a rock feel, this is the single word. It really, really, really does a great job with giving warmth and cut throughout the music. Um, we come down here, 16 inch signature china, of course, China's auxiliary symbols, it works out great for the auxiliary stuff, great for it. Just little accents and hits, that china's right there, it cuts. You can feel it. It really, 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 really plays a huge part in the setup. When you come right above that, which is the last symbol in my setup right now, so we add something. Um, 17 inch, 20 series flash. I'll say it's amazing. You go to some companies and the 18 sounds just like the 17s. You almost have to go down a few more inches before you hear a difference. You can tell the difference. Hopefully, we can swap the camera. The 18. Like I said, warm but still cuts the 17. Once again, a little bit more bright. It's still warm though, a little more bright, but it still cuts through everything. Great for recording, great for shows, especially R&B shows. Overall, that's my full setup right now. I think the main thing I want any cat to take from all of this is that you just gotta get what you need for the gig you're on. This is an excellent gig. I think along with the musicians that I'm playing with, the idea is to get would accommodate to get the best. Right now, a lot of people didn't think that Peisty would be cool for R&B or for pop or for hip hop. They work perfectly, you just gotta pick the right stuff. And like I said, Roland, all electronics are the greatest. And yeah, man, like that's my setup. That's what I'm playing. Check me out, YouTube, MySpace, all of that. Hit me up, Maypets, Big Frith, Evans, Peisty. Yeah, Roland, yeah.